ZW3D CAD Workflow. With a simple case study, we will learn how to get a ZW3D CAD workflow from a sketch, a modeling design to a 2D sheet. First, create a new file. Right click on the working area, click Insert Sketch, pick the XY datum to finish. Drawing the sketch, click Circle. Center is the original point. Radius is 40 millimeters. Create the second one. Center 30, 0. Radius 4. Next, add the dimension. Center to center distance is 30. Then make a circle pattern. Pick the small circle, pattern with original point, number 6, angle 60 degrees. So the first step from the sketch is done. Extrude the sketch from 0 to 10 millimeters. Then quickly add a cylinder on the top face. Radius 22, length 66. Pick the face to insert another sketch. Draw a circle with a radius of 12 millimeters. Add a rectangle like this one, width 4 millimeters, height 5 millimeters. Pick the Power Trim tool to quickly trim the sketch's geometry. Next, add the dimensions and constraints for the sketch. Now, it is well defined. Exit the sketch. Extrude the sketch from top face to bottom face to cut the shape. Add some engineering features such as chamfer and fillet. Now finish the modeling. Last one, modify the model attribute. Clicking here, we can quickly access the 2D sheet. Create the standard view and projection views. Click this icon to exit the 2D sheet environment. Back in the file manager, we can preview any file information. Finally, save the file. This is generally a CAD workflow.